There's amazing amount of stitches that be, can be used for applique, blanket stitching, and satin stitching built into the FOP Quilt Ambition 2.0 sewing machine. But I highly recommend that you sew these stitches out so you can really see what's in this machine. So we just did a video on how to do blanket stitching and working with getting the right settings and working around a corner, which foot to use and so forth. But when you want to do a satin stitch, a zigzag that's really close together, there is actually a built in satin stitch or stitch number seven zigzag stitch as it's noted. We do use foot 2A with some stabilizer, so no dual feed because that foot does not have that little groove. And look at the tension. It has us reduce that tension down between two and four. So I'm going to take it from four down to three. Just get it so those stitches are going to pull to the back side. The top threads are going to wrap around so they're really pretty as you stitch. Now you'll notice when you do get this pull this stitch up at how wide the stitch is. It is super wide, six millimeters wide. Now I'll tell you the truth, I don't do anything usually satin stitched that wide. So while I'm sewing, I can even start to reduce that width down and just kind of find what works for this type of thread. Your thickness of thread can kind of vary how you choose your width and then also what you're actually going around. So something like really small like this, I'm going to want a satin stitch that's not going to overpower this smaller shape. So as I dial it down, I might find myself right around that three and a half to three. Now, as I'm watching, I'm noticing I'm getting a little stitching show or a little fabric showing through my stitching. So I'm going to just show you what it looks like when we kind of bring this, this straight stitch a little closer together. Okay, let's take a closer look at what the difference is when we're doing our satin stitch settings. So as we started, we started with a really wide, the default setting of this machine. I have a fun variegated thread in so you can really see the difference. As I made it a little bit narrower, but look at the difference here. See how much more filled in and professional it looks? So I always say, you know, make sure it really looks good. If you're gonna spend all this time satin stitching because that does take longer than just stitching with like a decorative stitch or a blanket stitch, you might as well have a good looking stitch while you're, while you're doing all this extra work. So I reduced it down to 0.8 as you go. Another thing that really makes satin stitching a lot easier is purchasing the open toe foot for this FOF machine. So visit your local FOF store, pick up that foot. It's a foot that we use all the time. And so as you're approaching each of the little points or shapes you're getting into, it's gonna be a lot easier to know when to pivot or if you need one or two extra stitches for doing the satin stitch. So I just really wanted to go over more the settings and how you can manipulate this machine for exactly the way you want it to look.